Check out that catfish. What is going on guys and welcome back to another John Boat to Bass Boat conversion video. So today I got the rest of my box. So we're gonna be putting that together. We're gonna start there, but I also put together this little kit of all my drill bits. I got a crap ton of rivets from tbnation.net. I went ahead and threw them all in this box. Check this out too. Boom! I went ahead and hung up my tin can crew out here in the garage because it's usually where I'm building the boats. That was hung up in my room, but I moved it out here. This is where we're gonna be building the John boat. So it might as well be out here, but let's go ahead and start opening up this box. Oh, one more thing to show you. In the last box video, I had to rivet everything by hand. So I went and got a automatic rivet gun. This thing is freaking sweet. I'll do one real quick just for you guys. Bam, grab a rivet. And just by one easy quick pull of the trigger, that freaking simple, holy crap. Okay, this box is gonna go together so much faster and so much easier with this thing. Here we go, let's go time. Dude, Nate knows how to package some boxes, man. Okay, so we got all four sides. The bottom piece is in the John boat, so let's go ahead and go grab the John boat. Grabbing a boat with a truck for the very first time. So one thing I like about this truck is it has a backup camera. So I can easily back up to the boats and get them on the hitch, no problem. Oh yeah, it ain't so easy. There's the piece I need. Just double check, make sure these sides fit. Oh my God, they don't fit. You know what, I'm just gonna cut it, cutting it off. All right, well I guess I'm gonna take a cutting wheel to both of these sides cause they are about a quarter inch too long. I already traced my line, so we're good to go. All right, now she fits. This box probably won't be waterproof. Since I did have to cut this side off on both sides, I may not worry too much about it being waterproof and I'll just put like the life jackets and stuff that can get wet in this big box so there's one let's go ahead and cut this other side down all right second piece cut let's hope she fits beautiful so we got the sides cut down now it fits perfect we can go ahead and start drilling out all the holes So another thing I want to do with this box is try to put all the rivets on the inside or the outside so that way there's no rivet knobs on the inside of the box. I should have done that with all of the boxes probably but I didn't. Check it out guys, watch how easy this is. Oh my gosh, one more, one more, here we go. Ah, oh, so freaking simple, it's amazing. Michael Lopez recommended I get one of these and uh, I definitely see why. And I recommend you guys to get one of these. They are pricey. I think I paid a hundred bucks for this on Amazon, which was like the cheapest I found. 100% worth it guys, I promise you. Okay, that box is done. Got it done in no time. I can probably say that was probably 30 times easier with the automatic rivet gun, but man, looks good. I wish I did all the other boxes 
with the rivets on the outside, but oh well. I do have a plan to hide that, so it should be all right. That's gonna sit right there. How does that fit? Oh, the fit is a little short, dang it. Oh well, it'll be all right, I guess. So we're gonna have leg space here, a floor, this big hatch, these two hatches, a same size hatch like this, in this area, and then, oh crap, I forgot to have this box. It's gonna be cutting it very close. So that is going to be my deck height. It may be a little higher, just depends on how thick the material of the deck is, but that's gonna be it. I'll have about two and a half inches of space. That's good. I definitely want a lip. I don't want to drop anything and it roll off the side of the boat, so that's good. I guess it's a good thing I didn't do the nipples on the outside. The nipples, I'm talking about the rivet nipples. Because if I did, these boxes would not butt up. They would be even farther apart. Right now they're about a quarter inch apart. So I just went and picked up two sheets of one inch pink foam. And then I picked up three 20 foot pieces of one and a half inch PVC. I cut it all down to six foot pieces just to get it home. But what this will be for is for the rod locker. So these pieces here are gonna go about like this it's gonna go through here through these two walls but and we'll have a rod locker probably fit i don't know 10 or so poles right here but i got a heat gun i need to flare up the ends of all the tubes but first i think i'm gonna do the insulation so i need to get all of this stuff out so i got one inch foam and these ribs are exactly one inch so it should line up perfectly with these ribs and i'm just gonna be filling up all of these spots with foam Foam, 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 foam. In every slot, get rid of these pool noodles. Don't need these anymore. Upgrading. Trying to be a YouTuber. <laughs> Not very good. Dang, looking good. Hey. Gonna be professional, dude. But now at least you kind of have. Do you think they're all gonna be the around the same measurement? No. They're all different. I mean, yeah, these two are definitely different. That's probably the same. Nope. All different. <laughs> Hey man, drum, building a drum boat is not easy. <laughs> a little craft, making everything difficult. If I'm invited. Two private ponds in one day. Tomorrow's video is gonna be sick. What happened? What happened? Is it right here? What? Oh, maybe it was 11. Oh, see, you're tripping. I think I did 13, let me see. It may fit a different one. Perfect fit. Hey, that's what I was trying to do. Like you meant. You got fishing in my head, so it threw me off. Perfect. I might put the batteries here. There's going to be a hatch right there, but that could be electrical. No, it won't be proportionate because I'm going to be sitting right here when I drive, so my weight will balance out yeah, the so battery you weight. Your battery, you put two batteries over here. So now, when you get out of the boat, it's going to kind of go wonky. Right, which I'm, I'm used to. So that means rod locker needs to be over here. Rod locker. 
we just completely changed the entire design. <laughs> One day we'll get a full design of this build, but at least we're getting styrofoam in it. Thanks for changing everything. <laughs> no, you're all good. It's good because the stuff I need to think about, too much crap goes into these little boats. Yeah. 16 inches. Scopple. Scopple me. Push down on her. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, and it's in there nice and tight. Perfect. and mark it, but let's go test fit it just to see what it does. It's your rodeo, bro. I'm just driving. Bam! Got that right. Meant to be. That's money, dude. Ah! <laughs> Fuck. So eight foot ends right here. Can you hear me? So that is perfect for the okay, rod locker. Yeah, no, you want a eight foot rod locker and you want a four oh. foot door. I actually have eight foot and nine inches for the rod locker. It could come all the way back. All right, we're getting drunk. Just kidding. We're actually using this bottle to flare out the ends on this PVC pipe for the rod locker. But I got all the insulation into the boat. I'm even messing around with a new design. I know, guys. Probably annoying hearing about the design, but honestly, building these John boats is not easy. Things change. You got to replan, and it uh, happens a lot. So, but yeah, we got insulation in. Now let's go ahead and work on these rod locker tubes. Okay, so I upgraded my bottle to a wine bottle. That's better, actually. Alright, we're sticking with that. I like it. Alright, there she is. Guys, this is actually my aunt's wine. She makes her own wine. Strawberry wine. Sweet. 2018. 12% alcohol. Yep, she makes her own wine. Pretty freaking cool. She bottles it up, packages it and everything. Pretty awesome. If she sold it, I'd give her a link, but I don't think she sells it. I'm not sure. I didn't want to use this bottle just because it was hers, but this is the only wine we have in the house, so I had no choice. Luckily, it's not damaging the bottle or anything, so should be all right. I was really wanting to use something lighter than this PVC pipe, but I could not find anything local. A lot of people use the bigger tubes of the golf club. Uh, tubes, but I couldn't find any. I found the small ones, but they were not be big enough to fit my rods, so We had to go with this heavier PVC pipe Unfortunately, but should be all right It's funny because I woke up today and thought in my head that the only thing I have on this boat that is definite is the rod locker going all right here and today that has already changed so Now it's gonna go on that side of the boat Man, nothing is definite when you're building a John boat. Everything can change. Everything will change. Honestly, it's pretty hard to come up with a plan. In fact, on my first build, I didn't even have a plan. I tried to plan it all out. I just could not come up with anything, so I just started building it, which I guess is what I'm kind of doing now. I do have a plan, though. It's just not solid just yet. <laughs> 
so here is the plan pretty much so i flared at this end and i'm gonna drill holes hole 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 and then slide all these pvc pipes all the way up gotta drill more holes here and more holes up here and then this pvc pipe will be ran through here we'll have about 10 or so pipes hold about 10 rods so it's gonna be pretty sick guys to be honest i wasn't too excited about throwing a rod locker on here but uh now that i'm building it i'm pretty stoked to have it it's gonna be sick It's a lot easier putting the bottle on the ground. I just couldn't do it with the eight foot sticks. <laughs> but now that I got the six foot stick, I can do it. All right, the last one. So there are the nine rod locker tubes. If we can fit more, we're gonna put more, but we got those done. Oh boy, she's coming along. So we did backtrack a little bit on the plans changing today, but we also gained a lot today with the floor installation getting done and the rod locker tips all flared out. Uh, man, I may hit the drawing board once again with the plans just to really lock in where I want these darn batteries to be. I was gonna do it back here, but that's a lot of weight in the back. Threw some up here, now I'm thinking battery weight here I'm going to be way back there. Will that make the boat flex a little bit since the weight is so far apart? I don't know, man. Things you have to think about when building a John boat. But check this out. Last night I was out here messing around with all the different sizes of angle I got. It is going to look so freaking clean with all the framing up. It's going to look sick, but we'll get that's a whole different video. We'll get into that later on in this build. 10 can crew, baby. All right, guys, so today's comment winner is going to win this spinnerbait and of course the Adam Ryan decal. So let's go ahead and pick a winner for this. All right, guys, I'm gonna randomly pick one. Bam, right there, Dill Monster 2. Yes, sir, beautiful truck there, buddy. Keep on keeping on. Dill Monster 2, you are the winner of today's giveaway. You got the spinnerbait and the sticker. Guys, from now on, I'm gonna be taking the lures out of the packaging just because it is so much easier to ship. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing. So when you get your lure, it may or may not have packaging. But guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also leave a comment to win some of this stuff. And I will catch you all in the next video. Peace. Hi.